Gaming on your phone. I mean live streaming on your phone. How do you do it without using any hardware whatsoever? Hi, my name is PJ and I'm here to help you increase your knowledge in online media. So again, uh, live streaming games using your phone to a computer which what you want either through OBS or Prism Live Studio or any other streaming software out there so some people like to start out with a simple uh, technique called screen sharing so I just forgot the term I just woke up so yeah screen sharing so what does it do it means that you're just gonna uh, project the screen on either your iPhone or your Android to your laptop and then through your laptop you're gonna record that uh, shared preview of your phone to your live stream either on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch out of that but here's one thing majority of this of the screen sharing apps out there especially those that are free have either lag or choppy they either lag or choppy or they just sometimes disconnect to your phone so they don't work sometimes they somehow uh, disconnect in the middle of your stream so you you're gonna have to connect it again and then it will ruin your entire gameplay so I found uh, a new app it's it's technically not new it's been around for a year but not many people know about this app so I'm using like the last tutorial as Prism Live Studio which is right here if you notice on my last video you can check that out over here uh, if you notice that last video you can uh, I showed you a part where when you share your you, you share your device it's either you can sh use yes, this device as your camera or your screen so we're gonna do the last video was about the camera so now this is gonna be all about the screen so here we are again in prison live studio and then we have everything over here it's pretty much the same thing as OBS it's just more simplified and uh, more focused on uh, easy understandable user interface and a much more friendly interface so we're, it already has a scene you all of the links in the description so you're just gonna add a source it's pretty much the same thing as OBS if you know about OBS and then all this uh, text prism beside of it, it it just means that it's a prism exclusive feature so OBS doesn't have these unless you have uh, plugins and stuff but it's I know plugins is good plugins are good but it's better to have these like on uh, the default system you don't need to download other stuff so we're just gonna add prism mobile and we're just gonna name it uh, iPhone I'm just gonna name it like that and then just press ok and then here you have a QR code so now you're gonna need to download prism mobile on your app it's pretty much uh, on the app store you can't find it anywhere else but the app store if you're on Android you can find this on the Google Play Store so it's pretty much the, the same thing as last time if you saw last uh, last yesterday's video it's just gonna be type in like prism mobile I'll pre I mean prism live studio then sorry for my internet connection so here you have prism live studio this logo so you're just gonna install it then download it and then you can also do live streams just in this app you don't need to uh, use a computer if you want to I'm gonna do a separate tutorial about that but what you're gonna go is to this part the connect tab then remember there's a QR code on your laptop or your computer so you're just gonna scan it then you basically have two options either a camera or a screen so last video it, we talked about using this as a camera now we're gonna use this as a screen so you're just gonna press screen if for iPhone you just press connect and I'm recording right now I'm recording my screen on my iPhone so I'm just gonna stop that but just just uh, do what it's told here it's gonna give instructions to that 
So now you're just gonna choose Prism Live as your screen broadcast. Again, this is for iPhones, and then you can now start broadcast. It's basically this one. You're just gonna choose Prism Live and then choose uh, broadcast. So now you can see on my screen everything on my iPhone screen is shared to the laptop. There's gonna be a slight delay, probably about 350 milliseconds, but it's not noticeable when you're in game when everything is fast paced anyway. So now it's just this. Then you can choose either audio and video or video only or audio only. If you want this to be your microphone, you can also do that. If you want this to be your microphone, you just put this in a corner somewhere and then and then use it as your audio. I mean your microphone if you don't have one of these because iPhone or microphones tend to be amazing. So we're just gonna choose audio and video. You can change the resolution though. I think they're still uh, working on that to make it a higher resolution. So you're just gonna have to upscale everything. Then press OK and then here. You can resize it to screen. The reason why it's sized like this because again, this is a 1080 canvas. So you're just gonna upscale everything. Then lock it in place. So now, in case if you want to play some games like Among Us, this is the only game I have on my other phone. It, it automatically auto rotates and then there. Now everything in your screen will be shown. So look, I'm just going to play a little bit of Among Us. Oh, it's running an older version of the game. But still, look at the quality of the screen share. It's not choppy. It's not uh, like flickering or anything like that. It's very much smooth. And the reason for that is because it's not using your upload speed of your internet. It's using your bandwidth. So bandwidth means how, how fast does the data travel from you know this device to your uh, Wi-Fi, your internet connection. And if you just want, you can just buy an adapter that connects uh, your, a lightning cable to an, an, an RJ45 if you want to. But if you want this to be really smooth, so it will definitely not be delayed. So you can just do that. Look, it's somehow delayed a little bit, but again, not really an issue if you want, if you really want to. And that's basically it. So now you can just uh, choose a channel here like my channel settings you can choose uh, where you can upload it because Prison Live Studio the the great thing about this is it supports multi streaming so you don't need another a service to do multi streaming if you want to live stream on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch at the same time or basically all of them you can do that in Prism Live Studio and again this is basically OBS version 24 and above kind of so everything you need is here so there you have it thank you for watching and hopefully it increase your knowledge in your online uh, video or in your online media so again if you want more more stuff like this so leave a like and subscribe uh, you can tell me in the comments uh, what questions you have or other recommendations or if you want me to check other things out related to online media that you need uh, to be explained you can just comment down so thank you for watching